Alright, so what we have here today is a repair package. These are not for me to keep. Someone reached out to me on Messenger and asked if I would um, repair their snowman and I told them, well, they have to pay for shipping. I don't, I, I'm afraid I'm going to get like a hundred people at once, like, asking me to repair. You gotta, you guys gotta understand though that I am, I do run short on parts. Like, you know, motor shaft gears are easy, you know, to find and buy and get, you know, but sometimes other parts like, you, again, square shaft gears or certain pieces that break, um, usually come from other items that we've parted out over time and we don't want to part out our own working items so sometimes the reason why is some of you, if some of you ask us to repair your stuff and you, we don't respond it's probably because we we're not sure if we have the parts and we're not gonna have you waste your money shipping it out and spending money on a repair when we might not even have the parts or, and it might end up worse than what it was before because of not having the parts so um, i had a guy um, wanting me to uh, restore his life-size Santa. From what it sounds like, it was a 2002 Santa Claus coming to town model. He said the speaker was in the base, but it didn't make any noise. All it did was buzz. And I said, yeah, I'd take a look at it, but that's not a good sign that it doesn't make noise. Um, I haven't heard anything back, though, now, so maybe he found out that shipping was too expensive. I don't know. Anyways, but hopefully... I, I would like to restore that Santa for him, Um because I'm assuming it's just a bunch of bad belts in a split gear. I, I don't think it's any like, I, but then again, it could be like yellowed to death and shattered. I don't know. Um, again, he but it, he never got back to me yet so far. Like we, we're messaging a little bit, but I uh, there's no follow up yet. Anyways, but this person has two frosties and there's not major problems. I asked him to send me videos of the condition. I asked him to send me videos of the condition that his snowmen are in. And um, because I wasn't sure if like how bad of condition, he, I wasn't sure what, you know, repairs he needed. And uh, I was worried that, you know, he was talking, you know, snowflakes ripped off and, you know, stuff like that. I'm like, I ain't doing nothing. I'm sorry. But if your snowman doesn't have snowflakes attached, I ain't fixing those. I tried so hard back then. Once I remember what the time where I cut my second Grinch's wires off, I could never get them back on. Same with my low pitch snowman. Once the my low pitch snow miser, the snowflakes flew off, I was never able to get them to stay on. So if I will never work on those snowflakes. Because you need to thread a whole new wire in there and stuff. And I don't know. But from the videos, it looks like the Frosties, one of them doesn't hip swing. I think this one doesn't hip swing and the arm doesn't spin. So that's obviously a split gear. This is Black Hat Frosty. This one's arm doesn't spin. Yeah, nothing's even attached in there. I bet you that um, gum, I bet you that one gear that's yellowed is cracked up in here because this is a Black Hat model. Oh, it looks like he kind of, oh, he already like cut open the arm on this one. <laughs> that's kind of what I used to do, except I did it right here all over the place. And then this one doesn't lift its hat arm or spin. So see if that's... the hat arm isn't split yet. He said this one only works with an adapter. Oh, that was demo mode. But yeah, you can see it doesn't spin. Oh, it's on demo mode. And I'll plug this one in. Not sure if he wants me to try to fix this. I'm not sure if he wants me to try to fix this one to where it works with batteries. Um, that's not even working with the adapter either. Yes. Oh. Hmm? Oh wait, is that? Happy song. The corn cop pipe and a 
So the, the hat arms on these two Frosties aren't even close to spinning, so I know some people would say replace them just in case, but you would know if they were about ready to split. They're not splitting at all yet. So I don't think I'm going to... I can send him like some spare gears just in case they do in the future, but it doesn't sound like they're close to splitting yet at all. They're still smooth. They'd make that loud ticking noise if it, if they were... So, anyways, um, I'm not probably not going to do a step-by-step -step restoration. I kind of did that with the Shimleski's Frosty that I repaired. So, yeah. Um. Oh, well, it was that yellowed gear that broke in here. It's a, again, it's a good thing I got all, a bunch of these that have that gear. <laughs> so this one has clearly been opened before because this shaft doesn't come out. So I think they glued it in. And uh, that, that yellowed gear is not even in here at all. So they must have opened it. Well, it was cut open, but the pin w was put back in there almost like it was never taken out before because I had to pull that thing out to get the pin out so that I, but it looks like they also fixed this fixed the snowflakes before too because it looks like it's soldered in there so if if they did the snowflakes they did a good job but they just must not have had this gear or something i, don't know, I hope the other others aren't square shaft gears <laughs> but yeah this shaft usually comes out but it looks like this one isn't so it looks like they might have glued that one let's see is this one split no and thank god this one isn't split either this big one Okay, so I got done putting one of those gears in it. Uh, I, I put this one in there first, and this one was actually jamming it, so this is the wrong size. But I don't know if th that was from one of these. But now it fits perfectly, and you can see. Works perfectly, and it's smooth. I'm just going to tape that back on and put the pin back in. I didn't have to cut the back open on this one, since he already had this arm cut. I was able to stick a flathead, pry that piece off, pull the pin out. So, but those ones I'm going to have to, because I have to anyways to do this one because um, I have to fix the hips. And then this one I have to because I have to pull it over so I can fix the arm. I hope it's not a square shaft. I'm worried because <laughs> I don't have square shafts for those anyway. I'm out. So I hope not. Okay, so I got his arm back on. Um, there is a little crack right there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to put some craze glue on it so it doesn't... Um, crack completely that's actually remember when i made years ago when i made a video on how the spinning arm on my low pitch snow miser was loose and people were telling me that's normal well it was actually loose because that piece was cracked in my one and that was when i first got it so like that's see remember when i made a video showing it was loose that's why that cr there was a crack in it so i'm gonna glue it so it doesn't continue to crack i'll hot glue the pin so the pin doesn't fall out so the arm doesn't fall out. Arm and pin, <laughs> both. Um, actually, it would, be, it would be the back panel that would fall off first before that. Okay. Let's see how it works here. I think... Oh, I think... I wonder if I have it. I wonder if I don't have the back pin. That's weird. That looks weird. Okay. <laughs> I didn't have this part pushed in all the way, so it's like not completely even. Let's see now. Batteries are low. Jesus. This is a six volt dant. This is a techy six volt adapter. I promise. <laughs> it's not over. It's not an over powerful adapter. So I, I always have a problem with these spinning gearboxes. It seems like when I replace the gear, I can't have it closed all the way because then it doesn't work. See, I had. 
Um, I had, you know, to take that screw completely out. And that one partially out. Because when it's closed all the way, it just doesn't work. Not sure why. So it's probably going to have to stay like that. I, mean, I don't think it's too loose to the point where the gears are like going to fall out or anything. See, I mean, it's still, you know, held together. I mean, it opens that far, but the gears don't fall out. I mean, again, if I have it closed all the way, it just doesn't work. See, even just a, even just a little bit. So I don't know what's up with that, but. But otherwise, it works. Okay, so the hips on this is a split gear. Because the belt piece is turning. Which means it's a split gear. Well, this is the problem with the spinning arm. <laughs> this one's gear isn't split, because if it was, this would pull out. If it doesn't pull out, that means it's not split. Again, if it was split, it would be loose and it would just come right out, so... Yeah, Jesus, that belt is way too loose. I don't have any belts this size right now. I would have, I have to, I would have to, I'm going to have to go and buy some. I've been out for a while. That's why I took my Siano part and never put it back together again. Because uh, it needs another belt. All right, well, I'm not really going to show the whole process of like replacing the hip, hip gear. Because I've done that multiple times before with other snowmen and the Rock and Randall. They're all the same. They're all built exactly the same all hip swinging mechs except for the ones that swing two directions there's a few differences in those but um but yeah no i've you just take have to get the pins out i use a flathead to pull those parts off so that the pins come out then there's a screw up here i don't there's a screw there and the screw there and the same on the other leg and then once these come off, you take the three screws out of here, and then you can replace the gear. Okay, so all the screws are out. Let's see. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> and see, it is split. See, if I would have pulled the belt piece, it, it would have came right off. Again, this is usually how I put uh, a new gear on a shaft, since it can be kind of hard sometimes. It, unless it's like the ones that have those bending knees. This is That's why those are so hard, because you can't do this with those kinds. The ones that have the really long shafts. With, with the ones like this, you can just, you can just press it on. See, it goes right on. And then, like I said, once you put it back together, I'll show you. See how it sticks out? You just, um, like I said, uh, press something against it so that it, so that it goes on all the way. Oops. See, it's all the way on now. Just like that, you just press it against it. Oh, like I said. All the way on yet, but see, it stick, it still sticks out a little bit, so it's got to go on a little bit more. There we go. This would be the reason why it doesn't work with batteries, for sure. <laughs> um, I don't know if he wants me to clean that.
my god. The contact is so corroded that it just breaks apart. Fuck. It's a good thing it didn't go through the wire. <laughs> Mommy. Right. So until I get a new belt, I'm working on this other one for now. And look, this it is split, you can see. And I asked him if he's fixed anything on these before and he said no, so so this one is actually starting in yellow so for future you you're gonna have you're gonna have to be careful with it because it will crack easily well fuck the front lever just broke because it's yellowed great holy crap that whole leg is yellowed Ooh, look at how look at where it broke from too just need to replace the whole thing i wonder if i have spares maybe you've got to be kidding the motor shaft and square shaft is split. Yeah, yellowed plastic is just something you can't fix. Um, see, th it broke in another spot. Look, this whole thing is cracked. This whole thing needs replacing. Glue isn't going to really work. It's just going to keep cracking. I found... I was digging and I found all these parts, but... The part that I need already has a broken lever, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Because uh, I had it glued there, and but glue actually uh, um, accidentally made it stick, so it wasn't moving. So I had to get it off, and now it broke more. Um, so, and I don't know, it's just going to keep breaking, like, look. I mean, it's all, see? I mean, it's just, just that easily. You can't fix that. The whole thing would have to be dunked in glue, which I don't even have that capability of doing. <laughs> well, good news. I found one. So, I'll experiment with that one later. This, so I have pieces to replace all the yellowed ones, because this will crack apart eventually, too. Anything that's yellowed will crack. Here's how bad the yellowed plastic is. That's how easily it cracks. Yeah. <laughs> So, this stuff is not usable at all. <laughs> so, if you have something that's yellowed, yeah, you're not gonna... I mean, because if that... I'm surprised that didn't even break in shipping. Like, I'm surprised it even held up at all. Because that thing would have given out very soon. That, that thing wouldn't have lasted. That's the kind of plastic they used on the RoboSapien V2s. The white ones that yellowed. That's why there's no sense in rewiring yellowed V2s if anyone g collects... Or gets RoboSapien V2s. Because that's just going to happen to them. Oh wow. They used a different type of motor shaft on these. Gear. Like it has that end part. See it breaks just by me trying to get the pin out. I'm just, I'm basically just trying to break the plastic part right here because um, it's going to shatter my hands just trying to push it, so. See, look, there's just this little tiny part right here. Watch this. I guarantee
this is the pin that goes through to hold the leg onto the foot on the base. Look at that. <laughs> the fact that it's still held on. Oh, there we go. This is the new both sides. Remember, these both are the bad si bad ones. See, it's hard. So I, I just wish they wouldn't put those um, sp um, spiky things on the shafts or those pokey, because those just don't help anything. All it does is causes things to split more and crack and... It might hold the stuff together longer, so like, it, yeah, obviously this would slide out, but they could just hot glue it. I mean, because that just causes a plastic to break when it gets weak over time. <clears throat> See, it's so hard to push on. See, yeah, it is true that the 2004 ones and older have a different kind of gear that doesn't crack like the 2005 and 6 ones. Like I said, those ones turn yellow and crack. This one is just the motor shaft gear split, which is why the arm doesn't spin. That one's, oh god, that one's getting a little tiny crack in it, though. Well, I replaced the uh, gear on this one, but the belt is bad, too. So, yeah, I really do have to get belts tomorrow or something. I still have to hot glue the pins in, but yeah. And it, what's funny is I just realized that this is the white trim one. I thought it was the green trim one. I didn't even pay attention to it. <laughs> now, um, this was the square chef gear that was split in it. I tried gluing it. Of course, didn't work. Um, I had another square chef gear, but it wasn't the same. It had uh, more teeth on it, and they were like shorter teeth, too. So this was this was also one of the gears that was in it. I had to find another gear. Oh no, this one was. See how like large the, this is, this top part is. I had to find a gear that was uh or this wasn't like that cuz it wouldn't it wouldn't work for this gear. It would make it jammed. So I had to find another gear. I found one that was the same size with a shorter or a smaller top and it works perfectly now. Thank God. And that was my last square shaft gear. I have, I have no more square shaft gear. So if ever another square shaft gear breaks on these, I'm kind of screwed because uh, that was my last one. That was that size. I'm pretty sure. Well, I guess there's these, but oh yeah, it was like this. It has more teeth. I guess there's a few more, but I don't know if these are even the right size. But anyways, yeah, both this one and that frosty are done. Now it's just that one, which we'll have to wait till I get a belt. I actually took the belt from the spinning arm. I took the belt from this hip shake in Santa, the, since this is the one that's never going to move. But yeah. Like, look at how wobbly it is. 
when it's up, it's not as wobbly, see? And the snowflakes spin better, look. But when I let go, it wobbles.